Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saika and last time we left off when we accidentally stumbled into a cult of profane cultists. And since profane is the name of the game this time, we're going to cleanse every single one of these bastards. Let's start the battle and enjoy the squealing sound is uh, they beg for mercy but uh, the Emperor knows no mercy the Emperor knows only death okay how, how are we going to go about that I think we can go to here and then take cover not the worst idea can explode a little bit of that Or flame them into pieces. Either way is fine. I will We're starting this here. Battlefield in righteous fury. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Moves to here and let's heart. continue. This is unacceptable. Doubt is for the weak. Can escape the Emperor's judgment. Fabulous. That was the kill I'd like to see. Good job. Fire starter cultist is a bit of a problem. Don't want to deal with him. Moves to full cover over here. What? Was that you? Or... Nice, good hit. I like that. Um, we're giving ourselves a bit of forewarning so that we can evade. Moving up. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Saiken so does that, and we are doing Me. that. Little stare into this guy taking so much damage. Places at the fall. All right, let's for starters brace for impact. I will do my duty. <laughs> oh, the guy's down to one hit point. Hmm, unfortunate. It will be done. Moves to here. Indeed. And we're taunting one of these guys. Fantastic. Let's go. Good. We're moving to here. Good, that's one guy down. Um, can't reach another one. Not even with... Oh, well, we can do that. That's fantastic. Thank you. And since we have cleared this side, 
Saiken wants to not be flanked. I won't waste my time on that. Um, yeah, not Ravage perfect, but conquer. every other position has way too much in the way. Could hit the unholy lens, which isn't too bad. I think we're just going to hit over here. 72 hit points leader of the cultus is a good start One step closer. I will let's get a second triumph. shot that comes with going for Through cover chaos, I stride I need no guidance Good hits, 27, that is nice. And might as well mind control this guy, because why not? Not sure if that succeeded, but we certainly had a good turn with Saiken. I have taunted him, I don't know why this guy ignored my taunt. Chaos guides me. I bring ruin. Well, fan fucking tastic. Is there a demon? Yeah, blue hot. Wonderful. Wonderful. Take an attack of opportunity. I don't like that. Do we have a chance of not taking one? I could theoretically. Inflict some nice damage. But just not both of them. What does burning do as a status? It's just extra damage per round, right? Yeah. Then again, I'm asking myself if I was to shoot multiple times here, that might be a kill. Let's see if that provokes. The answer is, it sure as sure as sh does not provoke. Faith without deeds is worthless. Moving slightly into cover. I will not. Could reload. I refuse. That is not the Emperor's will. This is unacceptable. I can't hit not. any of those guys. Not good. Can we burn? Well, we can burn our own guys, but could we lay flames here on the ground? No, the ground is not burning afterwards. Well, burn something. Not bad. Uh, 
let's no can do. I'm not so sure. Hit both of them, no. Okay. I like the full cover here, and I don't want to run to the demons. What did just happen? Cast forewarning on him, but before because I moved beforehand, we moved over here. Well, that is just after. Anything is. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're okay. I am your doom. Could have screamed instead. Wonderful. We're now at uh, veil degradation of super super high. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Um Yeah, we need to hide over here. There is no great other alternative. Good, let's give Idira. <laughs> well, we're pushing the veil further. Not less. Not Doesn't matter. All right, keep it going. I like how the whole um, sound begins to slightly change. Let's push this thing back. Lovely. That worked very well. At your back and call. All right. Pascal moves up. I like that. Uh, what does this here do? Reduces the damage dealt. There is no machine here, so this guy is the only one that we could bother with it. But before we're doing that... Let's just try to hit him. Good hit. And we're scouting the blue horrors, because I think that they will be a problem all of their hit points. I will triumph. But just trying to kill the enemies that are easy options. Closer. Not sure if we can dominate 
horrors. But it appears to be not the case. This here uh, on the left hand seems to be an entire stalemate. We have too good cover for them and they have... Well, they also have quite a good amount of cover. Can't even hit them. These guys here seem to be blinded somehow. Reduces the weapon skill and ballistic still. Sticks up to five times. Oh yeah, because they were they were affected by our psi. Problem for us is I don't want to charge in with her. On the other hand, if we're not doing something, I don't s really see how we're going to go anywhere from here. I wanted AoE damage and these guys are just preventing any form of AoE damage really. Can't even hit the cover that here. Is not the Emperor's Psyker. Is this guy having a weapon? No. All of these are melee. So really these are the only ranged guys. I might regret this, but here we go. didn't work out. Should have used concentrated fire. We have way too much psi going on. If I continue like that we are going to have a problem. Alright, let's do this. Good hit, I like it. Scouting the leader out. Since these here either auto hit with their uh, psychic abilities or have melee weapons, Iridia is not m more or less in danger than she had been before. Gentia, Me? Me? If you that, insist, and shift over an action. Might as well flame that guy. Nope. No bueno.
Ähm yeah, we can't just go in and hit both of them. That would be suicidal. That would be suicidal. What are we going to do? Uh, we could fall back to here. And then rush up. Actually, not the worst idea. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. I will do my duty. An exemplary strike. All right, down Indeed. almost completely. And we're doing okay. Cool. The demons shouldn't be able to reach us. Barely so. Good. Pascal is seeing that this is uh, being a problem. And he is... Now there isn't that much we can do about it. Okay, Pasco. Move slightly to here. Uh, then this guy gets debuffed. Wonderful. Okay, thanks to the debuffs, uh, that thing is taking a lot of damage. We need, we now need to focus on the blue horror, or we're going to suffer the consequences very soon. Second moves over here. Um Yep. Shot into shoot again. Into unfortunately a miss. Into I will triumph. Try to dominate. Oh no. 240 hit point chaos spawn. What the F. Oh, come on, really? Alright, it is what it is. We're healing ourselves. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Let's kill this guy. There we go. One down. Finally. Um, yeah, we're out of ammunition. But I think we can revel in slaughter soon. This is a problem. 
This is a massive problem. What is this foreboding? On it. But of course. Two horror down to twenty five hit points. What a massive fight. Still trying to see what we can do reasonably. That would hit our front line. I don't like it. Not a single bit. But this would be a lot of damage. Unfortunately, we would deal damage to our own character. I still think it's potentially the best course of action. Is Adebrand already having that? No, he does not. So it more toughness. That's a lot of damage. Too good to not uh, do it. Demons are catching up with us, so not much we can uh, really do about it. Listen, we're trying to push him back, right? Good hit, but yeah, there is no pushing back. All of them are on us, and we're just going to endure. And now what I need is DPS, guys. Plenty of DPS. Good. This guy is by far the biggest threat, so... Reduce your DPS by 30%. Thank you. Uh, then opening him up for the future so that he actually takes more damage. And the blue horror is still alive. Okay, we have a problem with that melee character here. Can't cast while someone is in melee. But I can use the staff, I think. The very idea. Three to seven, yeah. 
Don't even get me started with three to seven points of damage. How much damage does potentially a lot because it's a demon? Okay, this we're just going to leave it this turn. I need that casting in melee. Faith without deeds is worth Reload. You're kidding me. Another K What is happening, man? Happening, man. I'll do it. Good. We need really, really good defense here. What? So for boarding it is. Doesn't matter that we are veil degradation is already sh fucked up. Anyways, might as well continue to do that. Expose the armor of this blue horror. And hopefully someone can take it down. There's a third one of the chaos spawns. Man, something is running wild here. Oh, wow. Well, this here would be a good little stair. Okay. If only that were possible. That is foolishness. I'm afraid not. Okay, well that is potentially what we need to do. Step Preventing down. more demons Navigate. from coming out. Destroyed the thing. The chaos spawn is still here. We can't risk hitting Saiken. All right, let's continue hitting that blue horror. Can you believe it, guys? We are still trying to fight that very first demon there. Luckily, we're blocking that entire row here. Haha, taunting scream because I have a death wish. And whilst we're at it, might as well hit you for 8 points of damage. Yeah, take that, demon. Adabrand is going to suffer. And by suffer I mean, like, it's not gonna be... It's not gonna be fun.
Pasco. Gets this guy down. And buffs everybody with machine spirit communication so that there is no recoil. I think that means better hit chances. Saiken is not doing particularly great. Amidst the carnage, I find purpose. Okay, before this guy here. One step closer. Regains the idea of summoning more of these things. I'm just going to kill him. Demon spawns are just not going to disappear, do they? Listen, if we could go, hmm, this and that isn't too bad, this and we can't do that. Okay, we need to frontline this, do we need to, yeah, we need to frontline this, all right. This might be a totally bad idea, but we're going to figure out whether or not it is. Concentrated fire. And now unleash the beast. Mm. I suppose not too bad. Okay, well, things aren't playing out uh, the way we wanted. Um, let's see, he can dodge. Argenta is all the way up there. She does not have a dodge. Rydia moves up. Gives her that. And then creates the dodge zone because I think that's the only realistic chance that we're having to survive that. Uh, this dodge zone gives six extra dodge uh, for everyone. Is it a good use of our time? I don't know. We are literally staring into the void. There we go. So is Saiken, yep, having it. Pascal is not having it yet. And Cassia herself isn't giving herself revel and light. So that's a mistake. I will do my exemplary strike. Ah! 
taunt and endure. So far we are uh, we seem to have managed to stall is that the right word? Pascal moves up. And we're debuffing as much as we can before hitting. 31 damage. Wow, that was good, Pascal. Damn it. That was excellent. sure if we should mind control these guys I don't think so we're better off just reloading hoping for an heroic act Keeping the veil up all the way doesn't matter. We'll do. And we're looking into that chaos spawn. Very good. Uh, can't hit this guy, but we can hit all three of you, and that's what counts. Nice little litless stare. Well, we could continue to re uh, to daring breach, um, but I think we're actually better off to just scream, keep them all on us, whilst they these two seem to be stuck, and that's fine. That one chaos spawn is almost dead, which is fantastic news. Right, Saiken. Not sure why we can't hit this guy from here. Cover is strange in this game. Saiken moves into cover himself here. Good hit. Crit even. This is beneath me. Oh, perfect. I will triumph. Good, we're reveling in slaughter. Let's go. One. As the Emperor commands, I act. Two. 
Keep it going, baby. Three. Keep it going, keep it going. Four. We're getting there. Well, that was uh, pretty me mediocre. Heroic deed. But of course. Good, we're continuing to just keep our defense going here. We have a decent defense parameter. I think we've gotten everyone. If you insist, Lord Captain. It heals one hit point. <laughs> Might as well use that in order to oh, heal boy, our front crazy. line. At your beck and target well struck. Indeed. Victory is imminent. Oh boy. I wasn't expecting to fight chaos here. All right, that was a stupid reload, and that's about it. I will not stoop to this one step. Good hit. I will triumph. Psyching is just dealing very solid single har uh, single target damage. But I find it strange, uh, shall I say, that these guys are having like 200-ish hit points. Doubt is for the weak. This is why I was chosen. In all fairness, like we're running around with Gimpy 20 hit points and these guys come in at 250 hit points. Like what the actual F. And then it's simply a combination of <laughs> semi-permanent buffs. And a tank in the front line. That even makes this here possible. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Pain and duty go hand in hand. At your back of an exemplary strike. Good, we're almost there, guys. I thought that we would have it would have been game over, but apparently the chaos spawn we have gained quite a bit of power since the last time that we fought them. Okay, that dead eye shot is really good. He's benefiting a lot Purpose from the exposure. My offering. As the Emperor commands, I act. All right, cool. That was not bad. We're definitely continuing our dodge here. And the scouting, enemy analysis, really good. I am a navigator, not right to die with the Oh, thank God. Me. 
If you insist, Lord Captain. Brace yourself, Avalon. Nice. That's not the Seneschal's job. Oof. Okay, so end of turn. The group really nicely came together here. Are we done? I'm going to pour myself a drink. I don't know about you guys, but I need I need a drink now. That was a brutal battle. Okay. In hindsight, I should have destroyed uh, that glass much earlier. Your eyes are drawn to the shards of the enormous lens that, uh, of the broken device. At first you're uncertain at what troubles you, but suddenly you realize shimmers of the glass in a unique way. They seem to be the shards of the unknown unbroken object in Theodora's desk. What is the matter, Lord Captain? Why are you so interested by the Imperium? This cannot be. And Idira says, I see it too. Whatever the a thing, a thing in the study was it was made from the material. What? It's a mistake. Slender made for the blemished good name of a person who is now dead. Come on, Abelard, remember how, uh, what she was like. Brazen, assertive. How bitter it is uh, to know that you were born from bad blood. I do not let this knowledge drag you into darkness. Alright, so... The two are fighting. But there are signs that Theodora might have been a heretic. Uh, what do we have here? Psychic staff, plus five willpower. Light carapace, don't need that. Chainmail, interesting. Medium armor, dodge penalty. And we got heavy leather, leather armor. Uh, which might be a thing whenever the wearer kills two or more enemies with a single attack. Uh, does not spend all of the wearer's movement points. Interesting. All right, so as for heavy armor, uh, that's a heretic coat. Where's the heavy armor? Medium, light. Heavy. I like it. Here's a little bit more armor. And then we got some boots for someone who's multi-killing. And I think that someone is going to be our multi-kill champion, Argenta. I like that. She just needs a bolter with a higher rate of fire. More bullets, more Daka is what we need. Anyways, um... I tread a path unexplored. Listen, guys, I think I'll just collect the remains here and we are calling it and I'll level up and give you a rundown of what we have gotten in between the adventure. 
and uh, then we'll find a way to potentially go back up wait uh, yep potentially go back up anyways thanks for watching guys have a good one and uh, don't be a cultist click that like button elsewise uh, you're considered a heretic take care and bye bye